Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to unbox a new power supply. Semlex power. Uh, it's a switching power supply, 30 amps. And this is uh, constant use, 35 peak, 13.8 volts. So that's no, not a variable power supply. And the model is SEC1235M, as in Mike. So I got this online and let's proceed to the unboxing and again uh, I'm gonna do this with one hand so bear with me a little bit this was easy to um, remove the switch here or not the switch but the, the lock of the box okay opening it there's a protection on the front and then the power is over here, which I probably need to just take this piece of cardboard out of the way. And we got the power over here. So this is the cable on the right side, regular uh, US prong cable. We got uh, oh, nice some fixture here, some connectors uh, for the wires to be plugged into the power. Let me do a zoom in on that one. Give me one second. So I can have, oops, focus is bad. Okay, better idea what it is. Uh, sorry for the it loses the focus a little bit. Okay, got the screw there and the connectors over here. So cable connectors. Um, I think there is a user's guide here on the back, but. Let's see if we can take the unit first out of the box. Come on, move it. Okay, give me a second, folks. So I'm gonna need to rest the camera here and I'll do this with two hands because it's not working. So let me just pull this back. And uh, the battery, not the battery, but the power comes uh, with a plastic bag on it. If it is already something new, it's supposed to be new. It didn't come with any, any tape on the plastic. Um, it does have analog meters. Uh, I like the precision of the digital ones, but analog looks better on my view. So it's not a, it's not a drawback at all. Let's look into the on-off switches in the front which uh, it came on the on position. I'm not sure again what does it mean if someone already looked into this or is a, sometimes you buy online and you get old stuff or used stuff. So I don't know. Uh, this seems okay so far. And pretty easy, you know, nice looking back with the connectors. Uh, uh, connections here actually and let's see um, this is just uh, the vent on the right side as we have a vent on the left side so let's look below it there is a fan underneath it it's not in the back some like some others and here you get the specs uh, for the power supply again no frills uh, well rated at Amazon actually, that's where I got this from and uh, you know, not much heavy either, either. Uh, you know, maybe well, let's cut the maybe, it should be doesn't say in the specs, but I'd say over a pound for sure uh, and uh, do some testing to see if it does uh, it's less uh, 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 you know, it produces less RF noise uh, on 40 meters and uh, 80 meters. That's where I had problems with my previous power supply. And also the, the box still has a user's guide here. So let me get it. And talks about the two models here. The one, two, 35 model doesn't have a meter the M model has the meters so you can see that uh, So that's the just the existence or not of the meters simple talks about dimensions and uh, 
like a, as you can see it's not big at all compared here with the cable I mean, it's, it's really you know like not not, not big at all and here have the dimensions uh, leading to details there right millimeters and and also in uh, imperial in, in, in inches and pretty you know not much to, to it except uh, if it works or not so I will test that and let you guys know thanks for uh, watching this uh, subscribe to my channel I regularly review um, some electronic gizmos here as well as other things uh, so um, if you like it uh, say you like it if you didn't uh, say you didn't I welcome uh, feedback and subscribe to my channel from time to time you're gonna see some cool stuff Thanks again. Bye-bye. See you next time.